1971, Plymouth pulled out all the design stops with the Barracuda. I mean, this car had it all. You could get billboards, rear spoiler, rear window louvers, through the pan exhaust, fog lamps, shark's tooth grill, louvered fenders, a shaker. All of that is the coolest stuff in the world and collectible today, but there's nothing better than getting behind the wheel of one of these cars and driving it down the road. This is Motivating. So this 71 Cuda was our SEMA 2017 build car. It was the very, very first car to feature the controller unit for the 392 crate engine. This car received that and a six speed Silver Sport manual transmission. So when all of that stuff went in the car with the controller unit, with the transmission, we backed it up with a Dana 60 from our friends at Mosier. It had a 3.54 to one axle ratio. We even put a fully functional shaker hood on it. Nothing, trust me folks, nothing is like driving this car down the road. So the e-body cars were the widest of all of the cars. So that meant that they had the ability to handle and these cars really did. As you see that car weaving in and out from behind the camera, that car handles like it's on rails. The front suspension is a Magnum Force power coilover rack and pinion front steering. We went out of our way on this particular car to have some special emblems made that would go on the shaker hood and represent the 392 Hemi. So driving this car out and about through Springfield, everybody knew it wasn't just a 71 Cuda, but it was a 392 Hemi. The power and the acceleration of this car was unparalleled to anything up to that date that I had done. Remember, we had done the Hellbird the very next year that had the 707 horsepower Hellcat engine in it. This one was rated at 475 horsepower. But at that, 475 horsepower and a 71 Cuda, we ran it across the truck scales that weighed 3,550 pounds. That is 400 pounds lighter than a Hemi Cuda would have been in 1971. I like my soda pop, okay? Kill me. I like drinking them like I was 10 years old again. <laughs> this car handled better, stopped better, and accelerated better than any Mopar I had ever done in the past. And you got to experience it with me on this week's episode of Motivating.